Sarcomas, though rare, require vigilant attention. July is Sarcoma Awareness Month, and today we are joined by Dr. Lee Letty, focus leader for the Sarcomas Disease Group and Chairman Professor for the Department of Orthopedics and Physical Medicine at MUSC. Dr. Letty, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And can you kind of explain what a sarcoma is? Uh, sure. Sarcoma is uh, a very rare type of cancer. Uh, it happens in all age groups from very young to very old. It is different than the traditional cancers that you think about, either sort of organ cancers, breast, lung, kidney, thyroid, or blood cancers such as leukemia, lymphoma. Um, it is uh, a cancer of our connective tissue. So bone, soft tissue, nerve, fat, muscle, and because it comes from a very specialized type of tissue, it behaves a little bit different than the other types of cancers. Okay, so you mentioned that it was rare. Can you expand on really how rare this cancer is? Sure. Um, uh, sarcomas in the adult world represent about 1% of all adult cancers. It's a little bit more prevalent in our pediatric cancer population, but um, fortunately it's not that common in adults. Okay, and now what are some of the common signs and symptoms to look out for? Sure, sarcomas can happen at, in, in any part of your body. They can happen from your scalp to your, your feet. And the most common symptom for soft tissue sarcomas would be a painless enlarging soft tissue mass. So it's often not associated with pain. Certain types of sarcomas can have pain, um, but the majority of them are just a painless soft tissue mass that's growing. And bone sarcomas typically are a little bit more painful. They, they hurt when, when patients walk or uh, put weight on their bone. That can be a sign that there's something not quite right. Mm -hmm. And now, so those bone sarcomas that you're talking about, they are connected to the bone, right? Yes, they often come from within the bone. Okay, and now, there are some times where there's a growth that is not connected to the bone. Is that still something that you should be concerned about or go get looked at? So I tell all of our referring providers, anything larger than a golf ball should probably be looked at by a healthcare provider. In, in width or in? Just in diameter and size. So anything okay. that's kind of bigger than the size of a golf ball, and, and certainly if it's getting larger, it's, it's a good idea to just have that checked out. I think that's a pretty good rule of thumb. Yeah. So if we did have it checked out, are there any um, common challenges with diagnosing? Is it hard to diagnose? Uh, it can be hard to diagnose. Um, ultimately, the diagnosis is made by a biopsy and looking at the tissue under the microscope. But there's a few things that we like to do beforehand. If, in, if a soft tissue mass after undergoing evaluation, a history and physical exam is still concerning to a provider, the, the study of choice for soft tissue would be an MRI. Okay. An MRI can really help distinguish between normal tissue and something that could potentially be a little bit concerning and should undergo a biopsy. Okay, and now because this cancer is so rare, is there specialized treatment? Um, there are specialized treatments. The, the rare aspect of sarcoma make it really critical to have an accurate diagnosis because there's a lot of things that can overlap and, and some things can be normal and some things can be potentially very serious. Okay, so we go to a specialized treatment center for sarcomas. Yes, um, outcomes tend to be better when there are multidisciplinary teams that are familiar with the diagnosis and management of sarcoma. Mm -hmm. um, sarcoma, I like to say, is a team sport. It involves uh, musculoskeletal pathologists, musculoskeletal radiologists, uh, certainly medical oncology, radiation oncology, and surgical oncology as well. Do we have a specialized center here? So Holly's Cancer Center has um, a fantastic group of physicians that have expertise and additional training in the management diagnosis of sarcoma. Okay, and now is there any new research um, there, are, there are new research uh, coming out every day. Um, because sarcoma is rare, it's, a, it's an orphan disease, and, and so it doesn't necessarily get as much funding and national attention um, at a federal level that some of our other more, more uh, common cancers get. Um, we're looking at immunotherapy or manipulating the metabolism of some of our um, immune cells to help us figure out better ways and less, less toxic ways to, to treat sarcoma. Now, Dr. Letty, where can our audience go to find out more information about sarcoma? Sure, um, you, can, you can always go to the Hollings Cancer website. Um, uh, the Sarcoma Foundation has another very informative uh, website about uh, treatment options as well as uh, sarcoma centers that may be close to you. Wonderful, Dr. Letty, thank you so much for joining us Thanks today. Thanks for having me. We're back after this.